Hey, hey, good afternoon, everyone. I hope uh, all of you are doing good. I'm Mabel, uh, Commercial Activity and Events Leader at Akia India, and I'm very excited uh, for this 50th season. I can't wait to gather with uh, friends and family to celebrate. Uh, my favorite part is the tasty food, and because of that, also, I love to set up a beautiful dinner table to spend time with my loved ones. So today, my team and I uh, are happy to show you how to set table for celebrations in a way that uh, makes your guests uh, feel welcome and we will impress them too. Please add your questions in the comments and I will try to answer as many as possible at the end. So let's start. Yeah. Here you can see uh, the wonderful range that we will use to dress the festive setting. And as you can see, we will use uh, different mood lights, golden accents, and artificial flowers. All of them coordinated in a warm color palette to make it more elegant. The support of an interior designer in uh, Navi Mumbai, one of uh, our stores, and his name is Bihang. And he will show us the different steps um, to set a festive dinner table. First, you have to consider the number of uh, guests and the available space uh, on the table. This is uh, just to ensure that they, uh, there is enough space to move around and do other decorations. Begin by lining up a tablecloth. Today we are using a white tablecloth as a base. And the setting that we are creating uh, this time, it's uh, for, for guests. Uh, in this step where we are talking about uh, textiles, we have to consider, of course, the textile that uh, we will place uh, on our beautiful uh, table setting, but also, uh, there is come uh, one tip that you can use also uh, chair pads to bring the comfort for a long celebration. And this would be wonderful if the color also matches with the entire sitting. We choose this pink uh, chair pad that you can see that it's very easy to, uh, to fit on the chairs to bring the comfort and also to reinforce the color scene. And uh, on the tablecloth, uh, we are adding uh, a bright, colorful table runners. These uh, table runners uh, we created uh, using uh, IKEA fabric, uh, and those are cut uh, to our required size. Regarding the colors, this is a very personal decision. Uh, this time we are placing a solid color tablecloth uh, with this pattern uh, table runner on top or but of course you can do in the other way around. You can choose to have the plain color on your table runners and uh, powerful uh, textiles as a tablecloth. You can place uh, the table runner horizontally or verticality along the entire table. Uh, these table runners will help you also to define uh, the space for each guest. Uh, look at the, the beautiful pattern that we have chosen. Well, now we're going to start with the plating. Depending on uh, what you are serving, uh, you can choose different kinds of plates. Uh, today, uh, we are mixing a traditional uh, white plate a pink deep plate and a white uh, bowl for gravies. I really love this combination as it brings a nice pop-up of color to the white uh, crockery and also have a nice contrast with the, the pattern um, table runner. Plates uh, are the foundation of any table sitting and they can affect the mood of uh, dinner depending on the size, the shape or color. White, for sure, is a top choice for many cooks because almost any dish looks very good 
We have chosen uh, to mix this uh, white and pink color to create harmony, but also if you want to create contrast and uh, make your food pop up, you can mix colors uh, like red and green or blue and orange or maybe not purple and or why not purple and yellow. Okay, I hope uh, you are liking it. Uh, please add your questions uh, in the comments and I will try to answer as many as possible at the end. So next step, it's uh, about cutlery. Depending on what food is served, uh, you can decide uh, on the number of the spoons and forks. Uh, set the fork and the spoon uh, to your right and then place the dessert spoon horizontally above the dinner plate as Vihang um, uh, was showing us. This is a very simple table setting in terms of cutlery, but looks nice and also very functional. When uh, choosing glassware, think about uh, the drink uh, you are pouring and the glass in which you want to serve. Uh, yeah, water and wine glasses uh, go uh, in the top left corner. Those are normally uh, the most uh, common ones. And remember that uh, the water glass should be closest to the guest and the wine glass right next to it, as uh, behind is uh, showing us now. Yeah, and also, yeah, you can use uh, your glasses for more than just drinks. Uh, one of my favorite ways to use them is uh, to serve uh, healthy starters and tasty desserts. Uh, this simple tip can help make the food look more attractive, especially if you want to take a picture of the dishes and share with friends and family. The right uh, lighting is also essential. Mount pendant lamps at about 55, 60 centimeters above the table to avoid the glare and the people can see each other. Think on the bulb and also the kind of lamp that you have. And uh, yeah, now comes the most, uh, the most exciting part, decoration, my favorite one. And uh, yeah, here you can be as creative as you like, depending on also on the theme that you choose. Here, uh, we are placing these uh, bigger items in different uh, colors and sizes right in the center so that it doesn't interfere with um, other things on the table. Uh, the LED candles that uh, you can see um, on the image uh, are uh, safer and easier to use and they turn off automatically uh, after around six hours. We are choosing different uh, colors of artificial flowers in different heights. Uh, yeah, you can arrange them uh, to create a nice composition and move them around till you feel comfortable. That's uh, what Vihan is doing. Also, he's adding a, a very natural green touch so uh, here it comes, the color blocks with uh, different colors. Now he is moving to find the perfect uh, balance grouping. Yeah, nice. I think you got it. Very nice behind. Beautiful. Oh, <laughs> you see this garland? Yeah, we created this by arranging uh, artificial flowers. Uh, we choose uh, orchids. And we add uh, LED lighting chain. Uh, it can be a fun activity also for the family to do together. And yeah, here's a tip. When choosing candles, uh, we recommend LED candles so the smell doesn't interfere uh, with the food flavors. Our LED candles are designed to look just like the real ones. And yeah, you see that it's, it's taking time for behind uh, to place in a really nice way uh, this uh, garland. We wanted to go bold with the, with the decoration uh, of the setting because, of course, we want the best celebrations ever. That's why we are reinforcing the, 
the decoration items. But of course, what he is doing is ensuring that uh, this is not interfering uh, on the space that our guests uh, will need. So he is trying to place the garlands in a very cute uh, manner and placing again with the different uh, bases and the stick candle holders. <clears throat> yeah. Cool. So when uh, we finish uh, with the individual setups, then uh, we will place the common serviceware. Uh, those has to be placed in locations that are uh, accessible for all guests. And you can use these containers to serve like dry fruits or sauces. So you can see that now he is placing uh, those uh, golden touch uh, in a way that now the table setting is quite balanced with these uh, items. So yeah, another common thing that we will need uh, by hand is uh, the drinks. That's why he is placing on the left side uh, this uh, golden tray with uh, some uh, containers and extra glasses. Uh, yeah, to make space uh, on the table for decorative items, uh, we can use a trolley that uh, can be placed near uh, the dining table Trolleys fit in the smallest of the spaces and can be moved uh, to wherever you need them. Use, uh, use them as a storage uh, for all extra items you might need during the celebration, like uh, bottles of water, extra drinks, extra sheets of cutlery and napkins. And why not some additional portions of food, just in case. So now we are in the step uh, of uh, the personal touch. Uh, what the Bihan is doing is uh, placing the napkins. We have chosen uh, paper napkins in a dark red, uh, dark red color. And as you can see, he is placing them in a very uh, simple way. So he is folding them and he is placing on top. So it is creating in a simple manner a contrast between the crockery that we are using in pink and white, also connecting with uh, the table runner and with the bases, uh, same color that we have um, on, the, on the center. And why not add the small gold touch? This is, uh, again, one more time to show your uh, creativity. We choose uh, as a personal touch, uh, a small artificial flower. Yeah, you can see it in, um, a small uh, leaf uh, on top uh, because we are creating like a of flowers. So that it should be very nice to surprise uh, our guests. But again, creativity have no limit. You can uh, place like a cute ribbon on uh, the cutlery, find a sticker on the glass, or why not? You can play in the way that you uh, fold the, the napkin, for example. Do you see this style the uh, touch and gold? Yeah, you can use this to storage uh, dry fruits or candies as a sweet surprise uh, for your guests. Yeah, the one that is inside the bowl to surprise uh, as a host. Okay, so <clears throat> once we are finishing with the table sitting, I think it's already really nice prepared for uh, the celebration. Also, you can have a look uh, around. And if you have, for example, <clears throat> a window like this, and if you want to increase uh, this festive feeling around the table, why not add in colorful garlands and lighting change again? Uh, here we choose uh, this kind of garlands in two kinds of colors to connect also what uh, we are doing uh, at the table sitting. And uh, again, please secure that they are not uh, smelling and they are not interfering 
in your lovely and tasty food. Now he is arranging the cables on, on the garland. Uh, and yeah, you have seen that they are transparent, so uh, they are invisible. Uh, this is uh, super good to use. Yeah, so now he's gonna set um, three more garlands in the other side of the table. And he will create the perfect frame uh, for, for this uh, table setting. Uh, you can see that it's very easy in, uh, using this uh, double cortine road and adding extra layer in your cortines uh, with festive fabrics. Um, in this case, we choose a sear cortine that normally should be placed behind the other one uh, to let the, lay, uh, the daylight uh, through. But in this case, we have moved them uh, to bring this festive move by night and switch perfectly well with the lighting chain and garlands. Now you can see how it's more connected, uh, the background with the, with the table, with this um, festive fabric in whites. Yeah, now it's, uh, I think he's in, in the final touches. Yeah, looks super good behind. Well done. Thank you, Vihan. Really good job. Nice. Wow, super. Beautiful. I think we are ready for celebration. Huh? Just tonight we're going to start. And you see, it's, it took us like, I don't know, like 15 minutes. Very, very well done. Here come some details. So I think it's time for uh, questions. Let's have a look what is coming. Oh, <laughs> love the question of the sofa. This one and this one. Yeah, those ones are from our new collection, Aromatisk. And yeah, you are right, are lovely. And also you can play in these two different ways. Cool. Next one is uh, how can we buy the lead garland? No, it's two pieces. We sell um, the garlands and are also from this family, Aromatisk. It's uh, our new festive uh, collection, Aromatisk. And then you have to change, uh, to buy, sorry, uh, the LED uh, lighting change. Then you can, you know, like roll up. And this um, LED chain uh, works with um, batteries, you know, so it's very easy to, to manage. Oh, next one is uh, how much does the setup cost? Well, I really didn't calculate, but I guess that um, we are a very affordable brand. So I hope... Uh, uh, yeah, later we can calculate and, uh, and we can, we can uh, of course, share with all of you. But think that in IKEA, there's no limits. We have a super nice range. We choose this uh, for this uh, setup, but of course, could be in a different ways. And what we try to achieve is all uh, different uh, price letters. Uh, another one is, uh, it is important to always use same color crockery. Oh, no, no, not at all, not at all. We show already um, a combination uh, because, uh, yeah, we choose this kind of uh, mix and match. We match, um, we mix uh, with this uh, traditional uh, plate. You saw it with the eight that are more, yeah, traditional. And then we add this uh, pink uh, deep plate that could be more basic or more traditional. But as I mentioned, uh, oh, there's no limits uh, at all. Uh, I love to mix uh, the new and, and the old things uh, that you really love uh, because are memories. And then again, uh, remember that uh, you can go for um, table setting um, made about, um, about contrast where you can use the complementary colors. Uh, like orange and blue, or red and green, or again, yellow and purple. Next one, it's uh, which dining table it is. Uh, I think it's Ingolf, if uh, I'm not wrong. 
But again, we will share uh, in the comments. Uh, so there's no any doubt we will do it. Oh, lots of love uh, coming in. Thank you so much. Glad you like it. Very glad. So I think there's no more time for questions. Uh, thank you so much for joining us uh, in today's session. We hope we inspire you uh, to elevate your table sitting uh, for these celebrations. And we will love to see your photos and videos. Uh, you can share them on Instagram uh, with us for a chance uh, to win free shopping at IKEA worth um, 5,000 rupees. The contest details uh, can be found on our Instagram page. And again, thank you so much and wishing you all a very happy festive season from IKEA India. Thank you so much.